week of Lent 3, Wednesday, on the witness stand. Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind and said, Who is this that darkens counsel by words without understanding? Gird up your loins like a man, for I will question you, and you shall answer me. Job 38, verses 1 through 3. Dear Redeemed, Job had suffered much and queried a bit too much. Although it was faithful complaining, it would not continue. The Son of God, by whom all things were created, and without whom was not anything made that was made, John 1, 3, along with the Father and the Holy Spirit, determined that it was time to call Job to the witness stand. There could be no refusal to testify. Job would be questioned. He would give an answer if he were able. On the shore of the Gerasenes, a demon-possessed man ran up to Jesus. The demon said, What have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I beg you, do not torment me. The Son of God is not subject to the devils. Satan will take the witness stand. The Son of the Most High God will do the questioning. Then Jesus asked him, saying, What is your name? And he said, Legion, because many demons had entered him. Luke 8.30 As you read about the life of the Son of God, please note that whatever he does, he does for you, and he does for your good. Jesus questioned the demon-possessed man for you. In the Garden of Eden, the Lord God stood Satan in the witness stand and declared to this fallen creature the consequences to all demons, as well as the gospel intended for Adam, Eve, and all their descendants. First he spoke the law to the serpent as a judge does. Because you have done this, cursed are you above all cattle and above all wild animals, Upon your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. Genesis 3.14 Then to the three there he declared the gospel, the defeat of the devil, and the promise of the Savior to mankind. Satan, I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. He shall crush your head, and you shall bruise his heel. Genesis 3.15 Jesus defeated Satan in the wilderness. The devil and all the other fallen angels know that they are lost. They will not be permitted into paradise. They are bound now, and they will be cast into the abyss on Judgment Day. Until then, Satan and his minions will accommodate any who wish to play with him, especially Christians who become spiritually careless and lax or who overestimate their personal strength apart from the Lord God. The demons roam about seeking someone to possess, and from whom they may have access to others, and through whom they may engage in demonic activities. They found such a man in the land of the Gerasenes. Jesus visits such a place and draws the demon into his presence. The demon-possessed man kowtows at the overwhelming person of the Son of God. Jesus will question him, and he will answer, What is your name? And he said, Legion, because many demons had entered him. Legion is the Roman military term for 6,000 soldiers. Somewhere among the vast number of this legion is a poor wretched, beleaguered, suffering, lost, demon-permeated soul. Jesus will help the man. If he can relieve this man of the evil spirits that burden his days and haunt his nights, he is able to help all who cry out to him. This is most certainly true. Prayer O Lord Jesus, true God and true man, I beg you to keep me from the snares of the devil, let not the temptations and trickery of Satan ensnare me, O my Lord and my God. Grant me your word and your Holy Spirit, that I may have the knowledge and strength to remain steadfast in faith toward you and in fervent love for my neighbor. When I fail, fall short, and sin, draw me to you in true repentance 
and in sincere trusting faith and forgive me all my sins, both those I know of and that trouble me and those I do not know. Graciously bestow upon me the comfort and joy of being forgiven, of having salvation, and of enjoying eternal life. In the same way, watch over and bless your children who are struggling with temptation or beleaguered by evil spirits. Be with us all, and when our last hour on this earth comes, grant us peace in you and a blessed death. Amen. Hymn number 279, stanzas 1 and 2. Christ, thou the champion of the band who own, thy cross, O make thy succor quickly known, the schemes of those who long our blood have sought, bring thou to naught. Do thou thyself for us, thy children, fight, withstand the devil, quell his rage and might, whate'er assails thy members left below, do thou overthrow.